Welcome back to the pregame. Time now for our Corridor Drywall Player Profile. Tonight we have Caleb Sexton, uh, long snapper, receiver, linebacker, safety, fullback, a little bit of everything for yeah. this Bears squad. So, uh, Caleb, I guess, uh, you know, coming off of a bye week, that's odd in and of itself. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. But let's go back two weeks ago. You've got uh, Dyersville Beckman. Team goes up, gets the win, gets the district championship. How did that feel to be able to achieve one of these goals for the year? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh... Well, the week before that we had practice or whatever, we knew it was going to be a tough game going up there and competing against a really good team that's pretty much undefeated except for their first game. But uh, we definitely went up there with grit, and we knew that we had to play hard to get what we wanted. And everybody knew that, that in order for us to potentially get a home game for playoffs that we had to win. So that, that, was, that was pretty much the mentality is get up there and win and get what we needed done. So. Well, after week three, team sitting at one and two had lost a couple of close ones to West Liberty and Cascade. What was the mood of the team and what changed to be able to turn things around through those last four weeks? Yeah, definitely uh, playing playing those two games kind of hurt coming in and not really not really knowing what I was supposed to do. That was still the beginning portions after Gavin got hurt in the Tipton game. But um, yeah, it was, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the team kind of uh, banded together, though, and said, you know what, let's, uh, let's get our focus back, let's get our physicality going, and be able to come together and play some West Branch oh, football. Oh, yeah, there was definitely a lot more leadership throughout our seniors and especially the captains. They, they were pushing us hard, and they were actually getting down on us for stuff that we weren't normally doing and stuff that we needed to do to fix what was going wrong and to get our bond back together to where we'd start winning again. So. Now, I don't want to take you through it, but we want to talk about it. Mac Valley, carry the ball, you get hit, get hurt, have to go off on the stretcher. Uh, at that point, what's going through your head? What are you thinking uh, about your senior season of football? Oh, uh, I don't know. On the field, I was more, I was focused on Scott pretty much. He was, that was the only voice I was listening to. He was talking me through it all. They, they were all really great on the field. I mean, all the paramedics and everybody, it was great, but uh once I got to the hospital and got out of all of my loopiness and it had my hip back or whatever, I they were telling me I was done and I was never going to come back and stuff like that. But I, that's not me. I'm not the type of person that just lays down and stops. I'm always I I wanted to get back. It's my senior season. You know, I've I started proving what I could do that I haven't been the past couple of years. So I was, I'm not done. I'm still fighting. I'm going back every week to the doctor to have them reassess me to see if I can get back and play defense again because that's really what I'm shooting for. But I'm just lucky that they're letting me run and long snap. So, <laughs> I mean, just to come back and be able to do that is shocking everybody. Yeah, I know when I heard that prognosis, I was surprised because uh, I could hear you screaming all the way up in the press box. That oh, yeah. did not look good. But what was that like for those few weeks, though, you know, trying to stay involved, stay engaged from the sideline, knowing that you like to be out there so much? Oh, yeah, it was definitely, it was great. Um, good and bad at the same time. You know, my emotional state was, I was very very emotional throughout it all you know it's my senior year I don't want to see my brothers out there playing without me you know I'd like to be out there with them but you know I know that they can do they'll do whatever it takes and I just know that they'll take care of whatever it is with you know I'll be out there in certain things but not everything yeah. so well like you said cleared to snap uh, that's something that I mean I played center Luckily, we never did shotgun. I could never do a shotgun snap. That long snap, even more so. Take us through that. What kinds of things are you doing to be able to get that ball back there and deliver a strike, whether it's to Kelby for a PAT or back to Andy or Gavin for a punt? Oh, yeah, definitely. I Mainly for PATs, I'll focus on Kelby's hands. My aiming point is his knee just because that's where he likes it. But, um, yeah, I've been working on long snapping since probably fifth grade when Austin Finnegan showed me how to do it. And when I was a little kid with him all the time in the backyard, he always pushed me to do it. And I just got really good at it and just kept going and going and going and going and going and going at it. And I finally got to where I am now where, I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty good snaps, I would say, but yeah, you, you do well. That, that's for darn sure. So, uh, like we said early on, bye week last week. Didn't have to play in the first round of the playoffs. What was that like, uh, being able to rest up a little bit and not have to go get pounded on for a game on a Friday night, getting ready for Mediapolis here this week? It was definitely good for all the for all the guys. It was another week to heal. 
gave us more time to really look into films at Van Buren and Mediapolis because we didn't know which one we were going to play, but now we're playing, we know who we're playing now, so we had that extra time of film time to look at what they might run and what we can do to stop them. So it was just, it was good to have a bye week and not, not have so much pressure and practices were a little, little laid back, which was nice, especially for some of the guys that play all, all snaps the ball, offense, defense, special teams, you know, it's, it was nice. It was a good break, I think. So, 30-second scouting report on Mediapolis. What are you guys expecting from the Bulldogs since you've had that extra week to look a little bit more? Yeah, definitely. Uh, they're, they're a good team. They got a good running back, and they have a couple good receivers. But uh, through practice here, it's, our defense is showing, showing a lot, and they're gonna, it's going to be tough for them to run and pass against us. So it'll be, it'll be a tough game on Friday for them. So. Well, obviously the focus there, we like to look at other things that you do. And I know that uh, if you were to run down the list of activities that you're involved in, there's more than just one or two on there. Talk about, you know, what you like about being involved in so many different things. Yeah, definitely just just the versatility of who I am. You know, I'm in fine arts and sports and theater. You know, I'm just all around, all around the block and just everything. I enjoy doing everything. I'm a very active kid. I've never been the type to sit at home and really play video games. I've always been out and hunting, fishing, driving around, golfing is probably one of the best relievers, especially during the summer, that I love to do. So that's, that's about it. That's about it. You know, just about 30 <laughs> things yeah, uh, on a weekly about, basis. Yeah. You know, no big deal. Pretty so much. Uh, before you know it, this year's going to be done. I think some people say, great, let's get 2020 in the rear view. But that means 2021 is here. You're going to be graduated, walking out these uh, high school doors for the last time. Any thoughts on what the future might hold, what you're going to be doing uh, after you're done here with your time at West Branch? Yeah, I, uh, my plan is to go into a trade school, either uh, MTI or Kirkwood or just some trade school and finish my welding certifications and then either uh, move down south and start working on pipelines or stay local and do field runs and stuff like that working for John Deere or some local business. So. That's about the plan. He's got it all mapped out. Uh, he's ready to go. But uh, first, he's hoping to have a few more uh, games here, uh, taking on Mediapolis here to start things off in the playoffs. Caleb, thanks for joining us. Best Thank of luck you. the rest of the year. Thank you. That is Caleb Sexton. Sexton, he is tonight's corridor drywall player profile. We'll be back with more of the pregame. You're listening to the Bearcast at westbranchfootball.com.